Well, it's a chilly morning here in Loganville, Georgia. Tomorrow's the first day of spring, but it's been really chilly. It's 36 last night. Yesterday, I got all the old beds out, and uh, I ran the battery ran out, so I didn't have to film the last half of that. But it took me from about 8.30 in the morning, and I worked until uh, a noon. And I think that might have been the easiest part, but it was still a lot, a lot of work. Today, I need to decide where the new beds are going to go. I want to be able to drive my riding lawnmower between the rows for a couple of reasons. One is easier maintenance, and two is my wife thinks we need smaller amounts of food in the garden. So to that end, we're, I'm going to decrease the amount of square footage I'm actually gardening and increase the space between the beds. So I'm going to drive the garden tractor through a little bit. All I have to decide if I'm going to get fancy with it or just make the beds back where they were basically, but wide enough for a garden tractor to go through. That's where I'm at today. Oh, first day of spring and it's a chilly one. Last night it got down to about 30 degrees here. Um, this is day three of this project. And I say day three, but it's really only morning number three because I've got to track practice at about 1.30 every day. So I'm really frustrated with the progress here. I am not pleased with the straight rows, especially with the space between them and the turn radius. So this morning I'm going to experiment with some other things. I'm going to try, first of all, to put a circle in the middle and see what that looks like. And then I'm thinking triangles. So I'll give it a shot. Uh, I'm not sure that's the answer either. If I make that circle any bigger, I can't reach into the middle. But then that makes these two beds on the outside way enormous. I can't reach into the middle of those either. I could divide it up with some walk boards. Uh, it's getting frustrating. Well, there at the end, the more ran out of gas, so that's where it sits, but that's going to work. It uh, really cuts down on the bed space, but I can reach everything from there. So that's the way it's going to go. Now I need to measure out, see what I need to get at the lumber yard. Morning number four. I got a lot done yesterday. Um, I've decided to go with the triangles. Uh, I'm not going to put any wood barriers on them this year. I'm going to just bound them up and see what they look like and how they do over the summer. Uh, the third host on the Victory Garden, I don't, Roger something, uh, had a beard. He had raised beds without anything holding him in except for the dirt itself. That's what I'm going to try this summer. If it's successful, I'll keep it that way. If not, I'll try to find some food safe border to put around there. Uh, there's just such controversy on treated lumber. Uh, if you put anything else up there, it's only going to last a couple of years. So I'm going to try it without anything holding the, the soil in. The first thing we're going to do this morning is to till up the triangles and loosen up that dirt that needs to go into the triangles. Next, I'm going to go down to the uh, Pooh Mountain where the goats and the uh, horses are and start loading up some poo and putting that on the bottom and then I'll start throwing the uh, topsoil, actually the soil from the old beds, back on top of the new triangles and trying to define those triangles and the space where I'm going to mow. And then I'm going to actually try to get some grass to grow in between those beds this year and uh, make it a nice surface for people to walk on and make it look good. Here we go.
Well, here's the situation. I've just spent the last 20, 30 minutes hollowing out my new beds. This bed over here has an abundance of dirt and on the other triangles, not so much. This is where the big corn patch was last year. The other problem is the good finished compost is under all of this poo. I'm going to put the top stuff from the poo pile in my depressions here and get down to some of the good stuff and that will be on top. I'm calling the new beds finished. I really like the ability to drive the tractor down the middle. I've got lettuce coming up, onions, potatoes. I haven't planted the Hugo bed yet. I'm waiting for some inoculants. Whew, it's been a lot of work.